as you can see we have here a 3D model of a screw uh, what I'm going to do next is try to explain you how I reach this point how to reach this um, this model so we have to uh, focus on three concepts uh, one of them is um, the internal diameter the other one is the external diameter and I don't know what is the correct word in English but I think it is step the distance between this point and this point so we can determine what uh, the rotation of uh, this screw so let's start a new drawing and let's start by def uh, defining the uh, a circle with the diameter of uh, with the internal diameter I'm going to put here a value uh, I'm an architect not a, me a mechanical designer so uh, you may find some errors on, on conception of this uh, uh, screw but I'm sure you will correct this on your work so I'm going to to make the external diameter and after this the uh, a circle where you will uh, circ circumscribe a, a polygon uh, that will make the head of the screw so let's start by defining the axis of the screw we pr select X line command X line then we select the option vertical and after that we define a vertical line crossing all over the all the um, circles so let's define a point in here PO or point if you prefer we press here and we have here a point defined but we cannot see it so I'm going to press the manage tab sorry tools tab and then go to point style and change the aspect of the point in order I can see it clearly so we are now going to make uh, a dissection of the screw by defining an ellipse uh, there are other ways it depends on the, the screw that we want to, to design in this case I'm going to make an ellipse so I will define the end point of the axis the other end point of the axis and then the other axis the crossing axis which is uh, a little bit smaller and uh, I select these points and now I can delete these two circles and also the X line I don't need it anymore so now let's make the head of the, the screw by selecting polygon uh, it will ask me for the number of sides of the polygon in this case 6 the center of the polygon and now it, it will have two options if it is an inscribed circle or circumscribe about circle I select the second one and then pressing shift and the right mouse button I select quadrant and select this point I can now also delete uh, the circle now we have a problem because we are watching this screw uh, on the top and I want to, s uh, to see it by various angles uh, what I do is I go to t the view tab and then uh, I will divide my screen using this area viewport I press here and I select let's say this one three three screens left and now I will search I will use this viewport to watch the, the, the model on the top view this one on the front view it's only a line for now and this one I'll change it to a 3d visualization now let's make the head of the of the screw by extruding extruding this polygon I will use the height of extrusion a negative value so it, it will go down and here it is so 
now we have the head of the screw already defined in 3D. Now, what I need now is to put here a value of the step. So I will design a line. I can start the line wherever you want, maybe here. And uh, I want a vertical line, so I will use uh, the coordinates, relative coordinates. And to use relative coordinates, I will put first at 0, comma, 0, comma. 0, comma, 0 means uh, x um, and y um, coordinates. And now we'll, I will put z coordinates, which will be uh, the length of the, the line, 0 0.8 in this case. So I have a vertical line, which is the step. Uh, that means the distance between this point and the next one. So now I need four, um, four copies of this ellipse, and they will be at, they must be at the same distance between them. So I will make, I will divide this line. I will select divide. I press the line, and the number of segments will be four. Here they are. I have three points dividing the segment in four equal segments. And now I will copy the ellipse. I will select the ellipse. Enter. And now I will define the base point, which will be this one. And then the four others. So I have five ellipses. I can now erase this one. And I uh, will start rotating to describe the path of the, the screw uh, by rotating all the ellipse except the lower down. So I will select these four. I will keep this one unselected. I press enter. He asked me for the base point. I will put this point there. I remain there. And now rotation angle will be 45. I will rotate it again. I will select not four, but this time three. I will remain the lower one. Enter. I will select the space points and the rotation will be 45 once again. Rotate, repeat, rotate. This one will be two. This point, 45 degrees. And final, as you can see, it looks like an atom. I will rotate the last one. I will select this point and 45. And now, as you can see, uh, this ellipse, the upper one and the lower one, are coincident if you watch them from the top view. Next step, I will use the command loft. Just type loft. And then I will have uh, to select all the sections in the same order that will describe the path of the screw. Pay attention, don't use only the lateral view, the, the, the front view, because if I do this, I can select things that I cannot uh, use with lot command and then it will bring me an error. Like, for instance, the point. You cannot use the point. So I make loft. I will select on the 3D view, the lower down, here it is, selected, and now the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. I press enter, and enter once again, and it seems nothing happened, but if you go to the front view, and you change the visual style from 2D wireframe, for instance, to go route, you will see here, that we have already a 3D model with just a little bit of the screw. I'm going to change it to the wireframe to make it more fast. And now all we have to do is to copy this model lots of times. Sometimes I do this, I cancel the command and do it over again, but selecting lots of them. 
I cannot now make union select all the objects to make this a single piece and now if I make shade go route shaded I can see my screw already done now let's make a 3d orbit so we can see it it's okay now <laughs>